All right, man, let's talk about uh, these fans and the premise of uh, we'll get a quarterback next year or we get a quarterback next year. We'll draft a quarterback next year. You get a quarterback late or whatever the situation may be. So we got a lot of fans that and a lot of people that probably believe that in the Lions building, we get a quarterback next year, right? We, have, we haven't drafted a quarterback in the first round since Matthew Stafford in the 2009 draft. That was after the 2008 season. We went 0-16, but, you know, now – you know, um, this talk of drafting a quarterback is going on almost a half a decade, man. Even with, even while Matthew Stafford was here, you got to remember, you know, I was even talking about the possibility of them moving up, you know, and um, I was even talking about the possibility of them moving up and 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 trying to get Kyler Murray. And some people didn't like that, you know, and he's been a stud. He hasn't had to lose a season since getting into the league. You know, so, you know, that's something to kind of chew on real quick. So, you know, whenever Kyler Murray came out, you know what I'm saying, that's kind of like, you know, that's kind of been like, because you got to remember, too, um, that's when uh, the kid, that's when Stafford had that back injury. We know back injuries can be tricky and stuff of that nature. And he still kind of lingered in. It still kind of lingered over from, uh, it lingered over from the next season, you know, um, you know, when he had the end, he pulled out the Vikings game and, you know, stuff of that nature. You know, people was trying to see, like, you know, Detroit. Oh, no, nah, y'all see, y'all see, now nah, Detroit was the problem. Detroit was a problem. And, and that's fine, bro. Um, when people want to say that, bro, uh, that's fine. But we do know that um, they had an all-star top line as a team. And, that, and that's just uh, and that's just what it is. They had an all-star type of team, bro. Um Three first battle of Hall of Famers in the defense. You know what I'm saying? Had it old Bill, had a Robert Woods for some of the year, um, and stuff of that nature. So he went to a great situation. He deserved to had uh he had deserved to be in a great situation after putting up with all the BS here. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have no, you know, you know, he didn't have no uh hand in this, but but um like I said before, you know, they they couldn't just get it right, you know, with him. They just couldn't get it right, bro. So um but yeah, we've been talking, you know, we kind of been talks about um, you know, getting a quarterback, you know what I'm saying, for the last few years. You know, I mean, I'm gonna be really nice about it, you know, right when he hurt his back. You know, right around that year was uh was it the year he hurt his back? I don't know. I think it right before this year. I can't remember when the brother hurt his back. But it's kinda like we was talking about talks about him moving up and taking Kyler Murray. You know, it was talks about that. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, then you go to the next season, and then it was talks about um, taking Justin Herbert, who, you know, which just seemed like a no-brainer because he would have been the number one pick had he came out the next year. You you actually get that guy number three. But then again, the Fords kind of sabotaged themselves uh, from doing that because then they told Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia that basically they was on a hot seat. So, I mean, like I said before, I think the smart move probably would have been moving down and trying to get some some help, you know what I'm saying? It was talked about Patricia wanted Derrick Brown and uh, Quinn wanted uh, Jeff Okuda. But anybody know anything about football, uh, a tackle is not going to help you right away. I mean, a cornerback is not going to help you right away. That's just that's that's just the fact of the matter. So that was dumb, you know. But then again, a quarterback, we got Stafford right away. It made no sense. So the force kind of sabotaged themselves. And then you go last year, you know, you had an opportunity to, I mean, who knows how this is going to work out, but you had an opportunity to take Justin Fields. You had an opportunity to um, take Mac Jones. You know, you had these opportunities to, you know, um, to take your capital and try to get up there and get a Trey Lance or, you know, move in that position to get a Trey Lance or, you know, try to get Zach Wilson. You know, they had the opportunities and they had the capital to do so, and they passed and they wanted to take – an offensive lineman for like the 50th fucking time in 50 years. I'm being pun intended there. I'm being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so there, you know, there's been at least since 2019 that we can count that there's been opportunities, you know, or talks about them taking a the quarterback. You know, I mean, right around that time, you know, I don't think this is one of the years um, they could have took one, but. It's been talks, you know, and it's been, um, 
Hold on. Been talk. It's, it's been talks, bro. And like I said before, they're gonna continue to uh they're gonna continue to to put this off and keep saying next year, next year, and then you have the fans who saying, well, you know, uh, you know, uh what they say, you know, um, we gotta just build everything and then plug in a quarterback. That's when you end up with Baker Mayfield and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's when you end up with 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 with, with uh you know end up with those type of uh them type of guys. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's to me that's that's just not realistic, bro. That's like that's like saying that uh that's like saying like okay, you know, we own 16, let's let's build everything right, and then we're gonna just you know, we're not gonna worry about Stafford. All right, we're not gonna worry about Stafford. We're gonna just get the offensive line, the defensive line right. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna plug in uh Matthew Stafford. <laughs> no reason we're gonna plug in a quarterback down the down the stretch, man. That's not how it works, bro. When you when you start when you starting off a free a fresh rebuild, you gotta get a quarterback. And that and that's just what it is, bro. You gotta get a quarterback. A rebuild don't start it. So you get a quarterback that you believe in. And if that's sitting them, and if that's you know, um, if that's sitting them, or if that's uh, you know, plugging them in right away to learn by trial by fire, you know, you know, then you know, like I said before, but you know, you're gonna wait till next year and CJ Stride, Bryce Young, uh, Willie Anderson, the edge. They said she have won an award over uh, Aiden Hutchinson this year. You know, even got us taking Spencer Rattler and Pro Football Network, which I don't know why he keep getting some. Some huge praise, you know what I'm saying, Bryce Young. So, and like I said before, people, you know, you look at a guy like Bryce Young. I mean, in my opinion, you getting or CJ Stroud, you getting a quarterback from two troubled, uh, 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 higher higher learning institutions who haven't produced good quarterbacks. Tell me, who hasn't produced great quarterbacks? Mac Jones just simply went to the right situation. You know, and people are just a product of of, 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 of a hype job. He's Philadelphia, too. I didn't know that. But, you know, when you look at him, bro, you know, and people say, well, you know, he's more athletic than, um, you know, he's more accurate down the field than um, than Malik Willis. Well, shit, man, you throwing to, you know, receivers with the catch radius of, of a fucking uh, large farm. You know, you expect him to take a jump this year, but man, when you got the best of everything, that hamper you. Look at Tua, he's struggling. You know what I'm saying? Angie McCann, Greg McElroy, Mac Jones is doing great. He in a perfect situation. You talking about and you put the you do a blind study, you know, just look at players, look at his arm. It's not better than Willis. You took his athleticism. He, I don't think he's more athletic than Willis. Could be wrong. Shifty straight line. You look at his arm. Not now you say we well, got better accuracy. Well, shit. When I'm throwing to all five stars, as soon as the five stars dropped off and all them got injured, and they put the other receivers in there. He struggled. He struggled throughout the year last year. Numbers won't tell you that, but he struggled. He struggled throughout the year. Well, you, you know, he struggled throughout the year. He's in birthplace, he's passing here, but it's in Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Philadelphia. I don't know, but he struggled throughout the year. You know, and, and I think I think it is it's a not it's a drop off between him and Willis. I'm just being honest. I didn't I seen him play throughout the year, and you know I'm not impressed. Sorry, but then again, he got one more year to make that jump. He could impress me next year. He's a he's a freshman. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you go over to C.J. Stroud. You know, um, and look at homie over here. You know, he trashed it. He trashed, too, as a pro prospect. Rancho Cucamonga, not because if he played for the Cucamonga Cracker Killers or the Detroit Lions, I mean, I don't care what these numbers say. I'm sorry. When you're looking at them going through progressions, making excuses about they had the flu, and that's why they lost, which I do believe that. You know what I'm saying? And him going through progressions and stuff of that nature, he the classic, you know, Ohio State quarterback. One read and get the hell up out of there. He struggled throughout the year, too. And that's just the actual – I'm just speaking facts, bro. And then you go to Spencer Rattler for whatever reason, they still believe. They still believe, bro. Hold on. They still believe in him. 
you know, whatever, you know, whatever they believe in, I ain't seen it. But he's transferred to the South Carolina Gamecocks, right? Arm didn't look to be there last year. You know, he's short. You know what I'm saying? The only person that ain't like really short is CJ Stroud. And that's and that's an actual listing. They probably smaller than what this shit is. You know? So this is what you're looking at. When you look at it, it's hard to project who would be good. Somebody might come out of nowhere like uh, uh RG3 or whatever, right? Fine. But you know, the back the best kicker about it is if you in this position next year, you know, then you Brad Holmes, you on a high, high seat. You know, we you know, you won three games, you draw one. We're not expecting you to win four, five. We expect to be four or five. We want to see at least six wins. We want to see at least six wins. We want to see at least six wins. And, and like I said, you know, if you be this high next year, then guess what? You should have just went on to Willis this year. If you this high next year, well, Golf and Willis on the roster, and you you got a guy out there that's like Kyler Murray or a guy out there like Peyton Manning, a guy out there like um, – uh, Cam Newton, or so a uh, can't miss guy, can't miss guy. Well, you always can dump Willis. You always can make him compete, showcase him in in in, in free agent. I mean, in preseason, and flip them and make them compete and flip the less of them. The quarterback position is too important, bro. The cornerbacks can go down. You see, in Philadelphia, all their cornerbacks went down. They still went on to win the Super Bowl. Their quarterback did go down, and they did go on to win the Super Bowl. So that's a bad example. So for the Giants back in the day, Phil Simms went down. Jeff Schausteller got in there. Went to the Super Bowl, but you know, nine times out of nine times out of ten, ninety percent, ninety five percent clip in the NFL, they starting quarterback go down, they can't make a Super Bowl run. Run, it's over with. Even when Brady went down, people put so much into Matt Castle, and they still didn't even make the fucking playoffs. Matt Castle got traded to Kansas City, and then didn't make shit shake. Just being real. So I mean, I said before. And if you're not in that range next year, you're kind of in the five or seven to ten range, well, you know, then you got all this capital this year, you know, uh, you got a little capital next year, you know. Like I said before, now you got to start digging into your, your, your stash of capital. You got to move back up to get a guy, man. You know, the football guys is putting them in a position again, not to make the same mistake. You're number two for a reason. You lost 11 to 12 straight from this fucking games. You're there for a reason. Take the man. We don't even worry about it. You've been taking defensive linemen or offensive linemen for the last 10 or 12 years. Just went over that in the previous video. Listen, listen, listen to the man. The football guy saying, you, we're going to put y'all here at number two. And on top of that, we're going to put y'all at number two on the number one team just to look at the quarterback number one the previous year. We telling y'all, we putting y'all in position. It's perfect. You don't have to throw the kid out there to get beat up like Stafford his first two years. And the rumor has it, the legend has it, that Jeff Backus is still in his two-point stands. Okay? You at number two for a reason. Uh, uh, edge rusher is not going to be the difference between three wins and, and eventually getting the 10, 11, winning the division, not by themselves. T.J. Watt was as good as he can be, right, coming back from injury last year. You know, all of that. They still won't go on to work as Ben Roethlisberger couldn't throw over 10 yards. Don't matter how good great your defense is. If you don't have if you don't have a serviceable quarterback play, think about the Ravens back in the great defense with Ray Lewis and Chris McAllister. They was only they only really you know, you think about it, they won one championship, bro. Never seen it again. Why? Didn't have a quarterback. <laughs> they went through after that. They were Tony Banks, maybe before that, Steve McNay never found a quarterback. You know, Joe Flacco was able to get him there. And, you know, Joe Flacco, he should have had two Super Bowl appearances. Lee Evans didn't, didn't drop that ball in the AFC Championship game. They would have had two. He would have had two Super Bowl appearances. And maybe, who knows, two Super Bowl wins. You know, Ray Lewis, you know, was able to get a second Super Bowl because of Joe Flacco. Y'all forget that he went to uh, mile high and beat Peyton Manning and threw that, like, 67-yard ball to Jacoby Jones to, to win the game and come back and beat them. You know what I'm saying? So you need that guy. And I don't think it's nothing not to like, especially if you love Stafford. You would love this kid arm. It's phenomenal. You're phenomenal, bro. You got to worry about hand size. You ain't got to worry about arm strength. You ain't got to worry about character, as we know. Knock on wood, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Durability issues, we never know. You just got to work on footwork, get adjusted to the NFL speed, learning behind your golf. 
There's no reason. You add number two. There's no reason. Look at 32. As you really believe in Ritter or somebody like that, a Carson Strong down the line, whatever. It's telling you right then and again, don't be one of those years. We put you in position. Here you go to take the guy. And you, you go around and you don't take him. Don't overthink this. Y'all been drafting offense and defensive lab and edge rusher, interior rushers, you know, and you know, you'll be drafting everything, but you know, difference makers. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy to take Kyle Hamilton number two. You know. You know, don't be that guy to take, you know, I'm not taking kill with those. Some with Jermaine Johnson and moving back. I feel him. I feel him on that. Great ball player. But if he go on to be great and they whiff. He going to be a good quarterback. He with, you know, once again, it's going to be the Herbert situation. So that's all I have to say, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Uh, get notification with that bell icon button. We'll make a financial donation. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Get all notifications. Please change notifications. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you got business questions, prior response, or video requests, all my links in the description. Twitter's the fast button. Facebook and Instagram. Appreciate the love support. Peace.